Hello, my name is Sai. Today I'll be showing you how to turn your 3D text into liquid chrome text using my previous tutorial, uh, how to do it with 2D text. This time it's with 3D text and it'll work with any 3D text that you have rendered out. First, you just want to start out with a basic 3D animation for your text and have the extrusion depth set out and make sure you have the extrusion subdivisions to at least a value of three or four anything higher than two works really but do be careful because this can be really laggy as it's making more faces on the text here so if we go on the wireframe you can see if you decrease the subdivision amount it decreases the amount of faces but increasing it increases the amount of faces if you just play back this normally uh your render 3d will only have the rgba channel selected so what we're going to do is turn on the normal channels as well and make sure we go when we go into anti-aliasing make sure you have low and high quality anti-aliasing on um, i know this will affect performance but you can't really turn it off with this it'll just look really bad and uh, it just won't look right it's it's really it's really it but uh to make things a little faster uh what i'm gonna do once you figure out what you want your text to say i'm just gonna have mine say chrome for the sake of the tutorial and I already know that I like this animation, so I'm going to keep this animation. I'm just going to go to the render 3D, cache to disk, lock cache, lock branch, pre-render, let it render out. This might take a little while depending on your hardware. And once we got that rendered out, we're going to grab a copy aux node. I'm going to plug this into the, this render 3D into the copy aux. We're going to set the aux channel to normal. So we're remapping the normal channels to the red, green, and blue channels. Uh, we're going to press the remapping, enable remapping normal to color. We're going to grab the render 3D and use this as an effect mask. And uh, so this will look pretty familiar to the original tutorial since this is just a normal map. The create bump map though that I used in the original is making a kind of fake normal map based on the luminance values that are inputted into the node. But here we're going to grab this copy aux node. We're going to grab a blur, set this to Gaussian, just keep it at one, and we're gonna grab an road dilate node. We're gonna set this to linear and set it to negative 0.01. And then we're going to grab a great bump map node. We're gonna set this height channel to average and set the height scale to 15. So now this is creating a new normal map based on this normal map. And it's also creating a bevel based on this erode dialect. Before the create map, bump map, I'm going to add a transform node just to change the angle of light for the create bump map. And then we're going to copy this transform, control shift V to instance it. We're going to go to the instance transform, right click on it, press D instance, and turn on invert transform. I'm going to set this angle to negative 135. This is up to you. Uh, when we get to the shader step, we can just modify this however you want, depending on how you want it to look. And we're going to add a copy aux node again. We're going to go to the color to aux mode. We're going to set this to normal. So now we're going to be taking all these color channels and converting them to normal channels. Like I did in the original tutorial, I used the channel boolean node, but this process is a lot faster because you don't have to reassign the red, green, and blue values individually using the uh, channel boolean. So we're going to grab a shader node and we're going to plug this into the yellow input here. We're going to take the erode dilate. We're going to add a brightness contrast node. And we're going to plug the erode dilate into it. And we're going to enable only the alpha channel. We can bring this high value down to 0 0.001. And we're going to plug this into the effect mask of the shader here. And we're going to go into the shader settings and press multiply by mask. Then we're going to grab a texture for our text. So I'm just going to use the same one that I used in the original tutorial. And I'm just going to scale it down to like points or let's do one third I think that works and we're going to plug this into the green input of the shader under the light turn off diffuse ambient and specular and boom you just have the same chrome text effect but it works with the 3d text and you can have your own custom extrusion um but yeah that's basically all you need to do uh you can follow the original tutorial to do all the post processing effects that i added uh in the original there's a a uh, moment where I added the background nodes to the text uh, just to visualize things better. But that was before I knew that you could disable the checker underlay viewing option. Uh, and I was just doing that to see the glow a little bit easier. It's a little difficult to see against the checker background, but you can just skip that step if you want a transparent background. And nothing else should affect uh, how all those post-processing effects are added. If you have any questions, just let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section. Yeah, thank you for watching.